Rifle scopes and binoculars need to be made tough and reliable, as they are used by specialized military personnel and civilians alike. But have you ever wondered how these amazing magnifying products are made? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how the fine folks at Steiner Optics make their world famous binoculars and rifle scopes. Well, we've traveled a long way and we're here in Germany. I'm excited to see something very special today. Well, here we are at the Steiner factory. We're going to get to see the inner workings and all the secret sauce that goes inside those scopes and binos. The exciting part for me is you use these products your whole life and you see how fantastic they are and how much it works, but you have no idea what goes into the inner workings. So I'm real excited to do this today. So. Well, let's do it. All right. So, gentlemen. This is our product, first production step, what we have at the Steiner company here in Germany for doing our binoculars and rifle scopes. So we are starting here with the raw glass material and we are processing the raw glass material in different production steps. There's a total of five production steps consisting of grinding, smoothing, polishing, cleaning and coating. Binoculars and rifle scopes are made up of many layers of glass lenses and prisms. To be able to properly see through each piece of glass takes a lot of engineering and care. Specialized machines first grind the raw glass material to the proper shape. They do this by using a cutting tool coated in diamond dust. Approximately one millimeter of glass material will be removed as they cut the raw glass to the proper diameter, thickness and correct concave or convex radius. A skilled and dedicated employee checks to make sure all glass has been properly ground before it moves to the smoothing station. During this step, the glass lenses are individually smoothed out using a machine. The lens is placed against a puck and then spun against small pallets coated in diamond dust. A quality control check is immediately performed by a knowledgeable employee using measuring tools and a well-trained eye, looking for any imperfections that may have occurred. Next, it's off to the polishing stations, where the lenses and prisms get even more smoothed out. For the lenses, each piece of glass is placed separately on a curved structure and while being well lubricated is spun at fast speeds, while the prisms are grouped together and smoothed out on another specialized smoothing machine. Once again, all lenses and prisms must go through a quality control check which consists of a mix of the human eye and specialized machines. Before the coating station, all lenses and prisms must get cleaned, but this isn't your typical water bath. Steiner uses ultrasonic cleaning methods in demineralized water. In the end, the glass will come out perfectly clean without any foreign minerals or materials before being dried as they move to the sterilized coating room. So here we are coating the lenses and the prisms. This is the heart of the optics production because we are deciding how many light gets through the optics to come to your eyes, which is a crucial part for every user of the rifle scope as well as for the binoculars. Because the more light comes to your eyes, the better, the more clear, the more crisp is the picture. So we are adding mineral materials to the surface of the, of the glass. The mineral materials are vaporized in an oven. We're heating up the oven, there's an electron beam coming, vaporizing the minerals, and the steam hits the surface of the lens as well as the prisms. And these layers of different minerals are making the way of the light easier through the glass material. We actually made special recipes for increasing the light transmission to the top level of going up to 96%. You have to imagine, you lose per surface when you have no coating, you would lose approximately 5%. So when the light hits... Per side. Per side. In, out, next in, glass, next glass. Next and you, right. There are so many lenses inside of the binocular and the rifle scope, you would come down to just less than 50% of light, which comes to your eyes if you have no coating. And Steiner's doing 96% light up to 96, allowance. I'm up to, to 96% coming to your eye. So that, that would say, uh, if, if I'm pulling up my scope or my binos at low light moments, that will see better than my own eye. Yeah. So if you can see on these discs. Looks like a hole. Far. Exactly, exactly. You would <laughs> think that's a hole in the glass, that's so clear. Yep. This is, this is exactly what it should be. And so when we saw before, after the polishing, the glass was crystal clear. We thought. It looked like a raindrop. And then here again, it's even clearer. 
But this part I think is amazing my brain the most. You're deciding how much lycos or how much mineral you add is adding to all those layers to let the light go back to our eyes. So for Hunter's perspective, low light moments when it really matters, exactly. we can still see the target. This is, this is exactly what it should be. Not everybody's taking these steps in the scope and binocular world across the board. Yeah, at least steps in the so, in the so deep um, intensity like we do. Because the more layers you add and the more intensive you do this production step, the more time you have to invest. And this is actually making the difference between lower quality optics and higher quality optics. At Steiner we have the guideline that we want to make superior optics still on an affordable price level, which challenges our production system because we have to be very efficient, very effective, a lot of experienced people and machines and a very optimized production process. When it comes to assembling the binoculars and rifle scopes, every piece of optics must be put together by hand. Each product has many parts, some of which are extremely small. For the rifle scopes, one of the core parts is called an erector tube. Steiner makes all of their erector tubes in-house. This part of the scope is responsible for several features, including the reticle, which is the etched-in pattern of fine lines to help with aiming. The tube is also built with the ability to rotate, so the image can be magnified when the operator uses the appropriate dials. The erector tube is inserted into the housing of the scope and sealed. Each scope is tested by smashing it against a rubberized hard surface and checked for proper alignment and operation. When it comes to the binocular assembly, trained employees attach many parts, along with the glass lenses and prisms, into the housing. The prisms are responsible for inverting the image so it appears upright to the user. Binoculars are made up of a lower housing, an upper housing, and the eyepieces. After assembly, the eyepieces are properly aligned. They then have the internal air vacuumed out with a specialized patented machine. They are then immediately filled with high pressure nitrogen. Nitrogen is a very dry gas and helps keep all the internal lenses climatized and clear of dust, dirt, and water. It also means when you bring your binoculars back inside from cold temperatures, all the internal lenses won't fog up on you. This step keeps Steiner users confident in their products and they know they can use their optics in any weather condition Mother Nature may throw at them. Finally, the rubber armoring is glued to the outside of the binoculars. This helps protect the binoculars along with giving specialized gripping features and unique color styles. So, gentlemen, this is now the final stage for our, our overall production. So, all the rifle scopes, binoculars are going through here before we ship them, pack them and ship them out to the customers. Because the, the crucial thing in the end is, so all the different steps now, from the very beginning raw material until the final assembly, now we also have to ensure that all the quality what we want to bring to the customer is also somehow certified. So therefore we have to do the testings. So we make all the environmental testings and optical tests for the final products here in our facility. When it comes to the many quality control tests Steiner puts their optics through, the list is quite extensive. From water pressure tests where the optics are submerged in a specialized container and high amounts of pressure is added to simulate the pressure underwater, to extreme hot and cold testing. There's multiple optic quality tests where they make sure the proper amount of light is getting through all the layers of glass to proper clarity and alignments. There's climate control tests where their products get put through extreme humidity scenarios, shock and vibration tests, and even a machine that simulates rifle shots. This machine alone will put the rifle scopes through 500 shots at 900 g-forces for each shot. To prove just how confident they are in their products, the fine folks at Steiner even froze a rifle scope and a pair of binoculars in big blocks of ice and allowed us to throw them out a window to test their durability. Here goes nothing. A 
Amazingly, both the scope and binoculars pass the test with flying colors. They even let us drive over a pair of binoculars and again, they stood up to the extreme abuse. We've told people for years that it's, it's German engineering with, with great competitive pricing, but it's more than German engineering. This is, this is perfection. Yeah. Literally, this factory is built to put out a product that is completely flawless. But it's not just people in a factory. These are tradesmen and women, professionals, with their tools and the tactics and the techniques to demand such a thing. When you think of, you know, it's just not employees. I mean, we've seen that some of the tenure of the employees, 20, 25, 40 30, plus. 40 plus years of expertise that have been here working on this product. So it's, it really must become a life passion for them that we as, as the hunters really benefit from. To us it's important that we, when we win a customer as, one of, as a Steiner user, for us it's important that he is satisfied with the product and he has a, a, whatever, a companion for a lifetime so that he can use the product all over his life and even heritage to his yes. children. So this is our benchmark what we set. Well, it comes with that lifetime warranty. <laughs> correct, correct, right. correct. This is what we stand for. I mean, a product, when you buy a Steiner product, you know you have a, a friend for your life. No, it makes sense Even for me. the children. When you say a heritage warning, meaning my kids' kids can bring this back if they're not satisfied or it's broken, and now I know why you're willing to make such a claim here. Honestly, to seeing the process, put it in pressure chambers, freezing chambers, I mean, it's, it's really something that you know is going to make it because you built it properly. Yeah. But now, I, I think for optics users around the world watching this video, it will give them the same as it gave me, a, per, a perspective of what truly goes on underneath that beautiful face of it. it it's, it's a ton of perfectly performed precision. What, what, what 100%, yeah. And I mean, again, we are here covering civilian as well as military market. So we will even be able to make military standard tests um, according to the military standards, which are very high, and then this is being transferred to the civilian market. So when you buy a Steiner product, you can really be sure it is what we stand for. Right. Rugged, solid, and best optical performance for still affordable price. Very affordable price, yeah. yeah. yeah.